Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video day and today the Houston Rockets beat the Washington Wizards 109 to 91 in the Summer League. What an interesting game for the Rockets in the Summer League. You know, I can't figure out who I was more impressed with in this game. Reed Shepard, Cam Whitmore, or Orlando Robinson. Man, did all three of those guys go out there and play a great game tonight. I'm going to go over what... I mean, like, all three of these guys were just terrific. Cam Whitmore had 25 points with 8 rebounds, 4, four assists, 5 steals with 1 block. Reed Shepard had 22 points, 7 assists, 5 steals, 1 block, um, and 6 rebounds, shooting 9 for 15. And then Orlando Robinson, how about him off the bench? I mean, he was the... Um, he was <laughs> he was getting every offensive rebound. He had six. He, sorry, he had uh, he had nine offensive rebounds. Total of twenty two rebounds. Twenty two points. Two steals. Two assists. Ten for fourteen. He's really impressed me so far in the summer league. In the two games he's played, I think in the first game he had eight points, but not a lot of minutes. But he gets some more minutes in this game. Drops twenty two points with fifteen rebounds, grabbing nine offensive boards. Um, and as the team, they had 14 steals in this game. They had like nine or eight blocks in the game against the Lakers. Blocks go down, but still four blocks. Uh, so 14 steals, four blocks. Very impressed with this Rocket Summer League team. If I had to choose the player of the game, I mean, it's hard. Because like both Cam and, and Reed both had five steals. Uh, Cam had three more points, but Reed had three more uh, assists. They had the same amount of blocks. Uh, Cam did have two more rebounds. Honestly... Uh, I, 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 if I had to, if I had to choose a player of the game, I want to give it to Orlando Robinson, but but I probably would give it to Reed uh, because he made a great defensive impact and was fil facilitating so nicely. Uh, but yeah, Reed Shepard was great. Twenty two points, seven assists, five steals, one block. Played thirty two minutes, nine for fifteen. The three point shooting was not as good. He shot four for six in the first game, one for five in this game, three for four at the free throw line though. Um, and then Cam Whitmore, 25 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals, 1 block, 9 for five, nine for 15 from the floor, 0 for 3 from 3. His 3-point shooting has concerned me. Uh, this is most likely it for Cam Whitmore in the Summer League. He, he's done. He's probably graduated, uh, as they say, uh, from the Summer League. Like, because Tari Eason and Jabari Smith Jr. last year only played 2 games and then they were done. So I would think... That is the same thing for Cam Whitmore, but it's the one thing, Cam Whitmore has been really good, and there's not, there haven't been a lot of bad things for Cam. But the the one bad thing has been his three point shooting. He went one for nine in his two games from three, so uh, he he was someone that I've really been hoping, you know, going into the next season on this Rockets roster will improve their three point shooting. I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but uh, the three point shooting for Cam Whitmore in the two summer league games was definitely a concern. But hopefully that can get better uh, before the regular season starts. And with Cam, something I really noticed in the last two games, and I think Raphael Stone, who, who was interviewed, uh, has said they want him to work on his passing, and he's been doing it. His passing has gotten a lot better. He had this one pass that was behind uh, his back, and whoever he, he gave the ball to, I don't remember who got the ball, um, you know, may, may, might have been A.J. Griffin, uh, got a bucket. He got the assist off of it. He, uh, he In the last two games, he has had some amazing passes. It's really impressed me. Um, it's not like he wasn't a good passer last year. It's not like he didn't pass last year. But he was not. The, some of these passes that he's making out there, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different when it's, you know, in the regular season because it's a little bit of harder play um, for Cam. It's you know, not a little bit. It's not as easy as it is going up against some of these guys, but some of these passes he's been making in the summer league have really surprised me. So that that's something I really loved from Cam in the last in the last two games. And then Orlando Robinson, twenty two point fifteen rebounds, two steals, two assists, ten for fourteen. He was great. Those three guys were amazing. I mean, the Rockets scored a hundred nine points, and that's great. A hundred nine points in the summer league is really amazing. Because remember, these are ten minute quarters, so. This is not a 48-minute basketball game. This is a 40-minute basketball game. So 109 points in 40 minutes is definitely great. 109 points is is definitely really solid or really, I wouldn't say really good, but but really 109 points is good in 12-minute quarters. Imagine 10-minute quarters. Um, so, uh, yeah, outside of Cam Whitmore, Reed Shepard, and Orlando Robinson, 
AJ Griffin was a little bit better in this game, took a lot of shots, scored 13 points, 5 for 17, 3 for 10 from 3. He's still trying to get out of this slump and get more confident. So um, I'm excited to see what AJ Griffin does in the next couple games, but I'm hoping he'll, he can build his confidence up. But he had two steals, he had two assists, he had two rebounds. He had a really nice assist to Cam Warren, Alley Oop. Uh, let's get to the rest of the starters, though. Nate Williams had 14 points and two assists, two rebounds, five for 13, two for three from three, two for two at the free throw line. Nafale Dante, who has not played a lot of minutes in the last two games, but has started for the Rockets, four points, four rebounds in 11 minutes. Honestly, I like Dante. He's been solid, but if he's not going to play a lot of minutes, why not start Orlando Robinson? I really like what I've seen from him. Really want the Rockets to bring him back on their regular season team. So, why not start Orlando Robinson over Dante is what, I, what I, is what I'm thinking. Off the bench, outside of Orlando Robinson's 22 points, not a lot of points off the bench. Nate Hinton, Rockets two-way contract guy, had two points, two assists, with three rebounds. Four points, three rebounds for Jermaine Samuels, who was another two-way contract guy. He went two for two. Uh, Kyra Lewis Jr., former lottery pick for the Pelicans, went one for three with three points, one assist, one rebound. That was it for scoring off the bench for this Rockets team. Let's go to the Wizards. How about Alex Saar? Uh, he definitely got outplayed by the third overall pick. Um, look, I'm not going to say for the Wizards you regret drafting Saar, you know, over Reed Shepard, and I'll go over why because it's so young. It's 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 he's it's so early, and it's summer league. So, you know, look, guys struggle in the summer league and and turn out to be good players in the regular season. It's, it's happened so often that great players struggle in the summer league. But also another reason why I still think they made the right pick. Look, I think Reed Shepard's the better player, in my opinion. But the the reason I think they they still made the right pick is because they didn't need a guard. They didn't need Reed Shepard. They need a they needed to bring in a forward, and especially with trading Denny Avdia. Uh, they have Jordan Poole. They have Bob Carrington, who I will get to. They have Malcolm Brogdon. They did not need a guard. Reed Shepard, I think, would have been the better pick, but they didn't. That was there. I think they're kind of focusing on what they needed more. But if they were focusing on, hey, this is the better player here, I think they were wrong. Reed Shepard, in my opinion, uh, in the last two games of the summer league, and we'll see how he translates it to the regular season and how he does in the regular season. But I feel like he's shown he's he was the best player in this draft. I believe he's better than Zachary Roche. I think he's better than than uh alex r as well and alex r was terrible in this game eight points four rebounds two assists two blocks four for 14 0 for five from three uh Keyshawn george 25 minutes i believe he is the brother of uh Keontae george 14.3 rebounds uh, bob carrington is the guy i really like who they drafted in the first round as well went five for 16 four for 10 from three 18 points five assists four rebounds he's one of their draft picks that i like i'm not a big fan of alex r but bob carrington is someone i really like uh, Jordan Davis, their one of their former first round picks, not that bad in this game. Fifteen point six rebounds, two assists, one steal, one block, five for eight, one for one from three, and then uh, you have Champagne. Uh, that is uh, Justin Champagne, I believe. Julian Champagne is uh, his brother on the Spurs, twin brother. Nineteen point seven rebounds, eight for fourteen, led them in scoring, and then I believe it's Julian Bernard. Uh, 20 minutes, 12 points, four rebounds, two assists. And that, that was really it. Though Outside of Bernard scoring 12 points, there's only five other bench points. So let me know your thoughts on the game for the Rockets as they win 109-91. Cam Whitmore scores 25 points. Reed Shepard drops 22-7-6 with five steals. Five steals as well for Cam. And how about Orlando Robinson with a good surprise? 22 points and 15 rebounds with nine offensive boards. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And peace out. Go Rockets.